Hey, what's going on, guys? Poison Rain here. Um, welcome to a different tutorial than what I usually do. Um, as you can see, I'm not in full screen mode, which means I'm not going to stay just in Minecraft. Um, today we are going to learn how to transfer structures between worlds in Bedrock Edition. Um, if you have a structure on somebody else's world, uh, you can have them send their world to you. It's on a realm. You can uh, export the realm onto your device. I don't know how that works, but I do know that people do that with their realms. Um... But yeah, you can, uh, if it's on a realm or a, um, or personal world, whether it's yours or someone else's, you can get your, uh, structure to your world. All you need is, of course, the world file. So if you don't own the realm, then you probably won't be able to get the world but basically the first thing that we're going to do is go into the world that we want to send the um, that we want to send the structure to we're going to do some setup beforehand just to make sure that when I do launch the world editor, it'll be fine. So, I'm going to go and do a structure block that is set to save mode, which means your world needs experimental mode enabled. And we're just going to name it. None of this other stuff matters. We're just going to name the structure. And we'll call it transfer. We're going to save it. Then go into load mode. But this is where we'll leave this world. For now. And then next we're going to go to the world that has the structure that we want to transfer. I'm going to be using random blocks in a random order. Oh dear lord, lag. But let's see here, what blocks do I want? Just get a plank. Glass, uh, brick, why not? What color terracotta? Let's go pink. It's not supposed to look good, it's just to make a point. And let's go dark prismarine. So that is our structure. I made it completely random, just insanity, so that way you guys could know that. Because I'm not going to cut this video. I don't want to make any cuts in it, except for maybe at the very beginning and at the very end. Um, but yeah, this is the structure that we're going to want. So we're going to want it on save mode. And then 
name it transfer one that way it's different than the one on the other world we're gonna save it and we don't need to turn this one into load mode because we're not going to load any structure so after all of our setup is done we're gonna wanna download this tool um I don't know how I don't think you can um, on these three platforms switch PlayStation 4 or um, iOS there might be a way on iOS that I'm not aware of to get your files onto a Windows 10 device actually you could could you download this for I don't know. It might be able to be downloaded on Mac iOS or Mac OS. I'm not sure. But you'll download this and then okay. And then you'll open it up. And then you'll click on Windows 10. I don't know if Pocket Edition. You can if that will work as well, but maybe. Um, where's it at? Structure from world, where's that at? Here it is. So we're gonna wanna open structure from world. We're also gonna wanna click add. Windows 10 structure across worlds. So, the structure from world, we're going to go into the view files, the DB, and then we're going to look across all these. I'll show you how bad your, if your world is older, I'll show you how insane this can get it's going to take a bit for it to load that world and if we go to view files this is really long but yeah you'll find them just before it starts turning into unknown symbols if your world is old enough, I think it's because it's from a different update. It just doesn't, it doesn't register what those symbols mean anymore. Um, but yeah, that's what an um, older world would look like. So you just have to scroll down a whole lot further. So structure from world. You're going to want to double click this. I want to click the top piece and then shift click the bottom one and click copy. And we're going to go to structure across worlds. Oh, and if you have multiple structures, you can pull this out to see the name. And then we go to here, open this, like here, I'm going to have to open it. So this was me when I was first testing this and seeing if it would work, and I got it to work, so that's where this, that's why this video is out. So then, we will shift, we will click the top one, shift click the bottom one, and delete it. You get this menu up by right clicking, you'll delete that leaving this with zero entries, then you'll right click the zero entries and click paste. And then after that, you'll click save. If it says error, make sure that you're outside of the world and it's no longer loaded. So 
we'll hit OK. Then we'll go to Structure Across Worlds. Come on. Load up. As you can see, it says my structure transfer. And I've got an offset of one so it doesn't get rid of the structure block. As you can see, it has turned from a five by five to a 10 by 10, which was the size of the previous one. If we're to click load, we get our hodgepodge of blocks. And I think I'll edit in right now a side-by-side -side comparison. Usually I don't feel like I have to prove what I'm doing is legitimate and that it actually works, but in this case I it, it's just such a um, sought-after topic. I want to make sure that it's not just pure clickbait and no actual results. So that's why I'm doing this side by side for you guys. Uh, also, the Universal MC link that I'm putting in the description is 100% safe. I've had it for months. My antivirus has never detected it for anything. So it's 100% safe and it's free. So there's no reason to not get it. Um, and plus, it can do so many more things than just this. You can use it to locate chunks and uh, see what items and blocks are within it and all that good stuff. As well as edit your inventory if you can figure out all the block IDs and enchant IDs. Um, and as well as repair your tools if you want to or just um, reset the amount it costs to repair them in XP but that's how you transfer structures between worlds I yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it or uh, found it helpful hit the like button the um, my content is usually um, technical Minecraft and sticky stone and redstone stuff. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, check out my other videos. Uh, and hit subscribe as well. It's free. You can always unsubscribe. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a nice day.